attack. Norm sideways. I think that one moment is what it really meant to everybody to be at Eldora. Come on, Norm! Probably the most unlikely star of the inaugural truck race at Eldora was Norm Benning. A native of the Steel City all his life, Norm has always raced with metal in his veins. As owner, driver, and mechanic, Norm has never done anything the easy way. I've been told that Pennsylvania has more racetracks than any other state in the country, and uh, I've raced at all of them. It was almost too easy back then, so I decided to go the NASCAR route and found out that it doesn't matter a whole lot how much talent you have. If you don't have the equipment and sponsorship, you know, you're, you're not going to win races. Most race teams hold their competition meetings in a conference room. Norm holds his at the local Greasy Spoon. A lot of race fans go up there, they're there every morning, and when they see me coming, they want to talk about the, the race the week before. See ya. See ya. I have a lot of, lot of supporters in this area. Norm's crew is one of the most cost effective on the circuit. They're volunteers who just love to race. There's a lot of people involved to make this thing happen. We need a seat, the fuel lines, radiator, and then we got to set it up. Hey, this all is all volunteer. all volunteer. We all do it just because we love it. I'd come over Thursday and Friday. Well, it worked out last year. In 2013, the most highly anticipated NASCAR race was not Daytona, not Indy, and not Bristol. It was Eldora. I know going in there that money doesn't mean a whole lot. And that's what I really liked about it is what's between the seat and the steering wheel could make a big difference. Everybody's got their eye on Norm. They want to see if he can race his way into this feature, but he's in a bind right now. The last chance races for the non-qualifiers, and they took the top five finishers out of that last chance race. There goes Norm. He got up in there, didn't he? He made it. And he threw the green, found a hole there in fifth place, and just hung on. Here comes Blake Greenfield. He puts the bumper to the 57 again. Two laps of racing to go. Clay used his truck up trying to put me into the parking lot. He kept open. He could knock me out of the race, but I was pretty determined not to, not to go home. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no! I actually used the wall to get around the corner. You got it, you got it, you got it! Come on, Norm, hangs on! Yes! Yeah! Norm was not going to be denied. You can hear the crowd. They're louder than they've been all night. The greatest part of that whole deal was when I drove into the infield, and I was surrounded by all these crews. Hey, wait, Norm! Yeah, Tony Stewart was the first one in the truck. He said, Norm, you just made this show a success. He had no clue how big a moment that was. He got out of the truck, and guys from five different teams immediately started taking the truck, and he, he didn't know what was going on and why they were doing what they were doing. Norm just put it all out there on the line and you know he's not a guy that has a big budget he doesn't have a lot of funding he just drove the daylights out of it out of a two-car garage behind his own house norm works day and night in hopes of shining again at eldora well it's 7 30 in the morning till so you can't stand up anymore you have to love this sport to put in the hours that we put in. Just kind of hold it or break the edge of that. Still have to put that overflow tank on. I live for those moments when I'm competitive and people notice I can drive these things. It's not often you get a racetrack like that on a schedule where you can where you can shine. I know I can 